All right, another video today. Uh, looks like Bill Maher is uh, in trouble again. Bill Maher is in trouble again. He's uh, apparently what he's said something about Koreans and uh, you know the nail shop and that the Koreans are the, the Koreans are are going crazy over the whole North Korea thing or whatever. Now, I mean, I know we we've, we've all heard about it or we all know, so I don't need to go verbatim on a lot of these things. I don't do that on a lot of my uh, a lot of my videos because you know I already know that most people know what's going on. So I'm just going to pull out these are my thoughts, and my opinions. So. I think this is another situation where it just shows just where everything is as far as the I got a gray hair there. Oh jeez, another one. Um I think this just goes to show once again that we're taking this whole being offended thing way too far. Reddit I was uh not Reddit, I uh listened to it and I know uh, Dave Rubin on it, Rubin Report out which I, I really love. Uh, he he was talking about oppression Olympics. I don't know if he was the one that coined that term, but Lord have mercy. This is where we are. The oppression Olympics where it's who can be oppressed the most. And then you have the virtual signaling crowd that are upset for other people. So this whole Korean thing where, where him making that joke, I have I don't I don't think it's a real I'm pretty sure it's not a real um far stretch to to I don't think it's a far stretch to say that the, it wasn't even the Korean people that were upset it's not I don't think it's a real far stretch uh the same as you had the uh I think it was the one restaurant in, in California where they, they they had people that were offended that it was white people that had a Mexican restaurant they were offended and you know I, I'm just wondering what the end game is going to be as far as a lot of these things, you know, being offended about every little thing. I remember back on, um, uh, uh, I don't know if this is on a, in Living Color, one of those uh, one of those shows in Living Color, but I know it was back in the 90s. They had uh, guys that would that would talk about, you know, racism. You know, you had, they would have little character, characters of, of people, and it was supposed to be funny, that would talk about racism, and he would say, I went to the grocery store and in the grocery store they had the rice krispies over the cocoa puffs the rice krispies over the cocoa puffs that's racism right there they would say that and everyone would laugh it was just so funny how could someone think about something so freaking crazy how could someone actually believe that that was really something someone would believe Ha ha ha, we laugh about it, we laugh about it. And lo and behold, I think we're there right now where you have that situation. Where you have people that want to be so pissed off and so upset about every little freaking thing. Everything is freaking racist. Even You know, my thing is, even if everything is racist, who gives a crap? I don't care what people think. No one's going to help me in any way by thinking, that by liking me. Liking me because I'm black. Who cares? I don't care if someone doesn't like me if I'm black. Who cares? I don't care. So it's the same as me. If I if I wanted to wear, I I bought this actually because I'm I'm not a person that likes conflict. I bought this no ma'am t-shirt from off Amazon. You know Al Bundy no ma'am t-shirt. Can you imagine what the uh, if I went out in public? I'm pro you know I'm about to be at the point that I don't care. But um, if you went out in public with this shirt. How many people would be pissed? It's a goddamn joke. Doesn't mean I like women, that I dislike women. Or I want women to be oppressed in any kind of way. I don't like women. Love women. Let's be honest here. Freaking beautiful creatures. It is what it is. This is where we are. Now, if you want to sit back and, and, and cry about every little thing, you can cry about every little thing. But me, I'm just going to sit back. If someone makes a joke, something offensive that, that may be offensive or who cares? Sticks and stones, folks. Can we can we go back to the playground as far as that goes? Sticks and stones. And don't worry about what people say and stop trying to worry about what other people think. We've gotten we've gotten to the point now where every little thing. I think it was Brett Weinstein. I was looking listening to the Brett Weinstein at Evergreen University. It's in the what's considered racist. It's like every year or every whatever so long, 
the bar gets lower on what's considered racism to the point that you can't help but to trip over it. And I, I believe that. We've made that such a, we've made this whole what's not racist, racist thing like such a tightrope walk. It used to be a broad street. Now it's a tightrope walk where you can sit back and claim that anything is racism. That's the problem with stuff like systemic racism, with st saying things like systemic racism, where, where in, at that point when it's systemic, when you say systemic, it can be anything. Anything can be racism. <laughs> this is where we are. And um, it's constantly becoming a boy crowd wolf thing. And when you call everything racist, then whenever something really actually is racist, everyone just kind of says, huh, well, they're, they're, they're hollering racism again. Anyway, that's my video. That's my thoughts. What he said was definitely not racist. A lot of Koreans, Asians, whatever, they own nail shops. <laughs> Are we going to uh, racist facts? We, we hate those racist facts. God dang it. Nah. Whatever. Next outrageous video, I have to, or next outrageous story, I'll just put out another video. It looks like it's a good day or a good good time for, for YouTube um, uh, video, video making for people that have an opinion because every single day there's some stupidity. And it's just another day.